Hi and welcome back to Colski RC. So today we're going to have a look at this. This is a product from UI UAV and what it does is it gives us the option to pop analog onto the DJI goggles. So this is a unit you get, comes out about 11 quid. So you get the unit itself that allows a fitment of a external module. Your power goes into one end and so it goes in like this basically. So you've got that part which will attach into your goggles you've got the power that's going to go into one end so I think it's power in that end out this end and this end is going to clip into your goggles so you've got power in there and these two go into your goggles and what that will do is allow analog input to come from this unit so you also get in here a little allen key which I'll show you why in a minute and a piece of rubber which I'm not sure what that's for I think it's to tidy up your cables actually and some sticky pads which you also need now I'm going to match this up because I don't have uh, fat shacks or anything so I bought this to test with it and this is the Furious FPV and this is the True D diversity receiver but this is the Mini I believe it's called or I can't remember what it's called, is it called the Mini or Light, it's called the Light so this is the unit itself you get I haven't seen a review on this actually so I don't know how good it is or anything but I thought it'd be good to give it a try on the DJI goggles. So this unit is very cheap. It comes in, I think I paid 32 quid for it in a Banggood sale. If it was a sale, you know what I mean. They're one of them sale things. So this is what you get for 32 quid. And it looks quite nice. And this is the cover. It even comes with the cover. But China being China, they couldn't even bother to put the screen in the right position. I don't know if you can see that. So the screen's are now. So basically what you do is this goes onto your goggles and then this pl plugs in to the header pins here. Now it can go into any row apparently, it doesn't matter which row it goes into. It plugs into there. This cover clips on the top but it doesn't actually clip on so I'm just going to hold it on with double sided tape in place. And then obviously this is going to go out to your unit and then you're going to have your antennas coming up here. Does it make sense? So this is how it fits to the goggles. So if you can see on here you've got the side plate. So on this side strap here, this is why you get the Allen key. So it's to remove these two screws here. Then screws come out and then you put this unit on top like that. And the screws will go through it. And then you put some double sided tape on the back of here so it sits against your goggles nicely. So. Rather than me doing that on camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it away, I am going to fit it and I'm going to come and show it you fitted and let you know what I think of it so far. Unfortunately today I won't be able to fly it because in the, I think the west wind I can remember in the UK, I'd rather have snow and stuff but all we've had is either strong winds or rain for months now or stupidly grey skies that you can't fly in so unfortunately I won't be able to test it. But I will set it up and I will let you know what it's like coming through the goggles, what the image is like. And obviously on these now, they've had the latency improved from using analog and of course you can still record on the DVR on these goggles so all in all it's a winner so for me if this works if this is uh, a good project these are going to come in at 42 42 pounds 43 pounds for the lot so you will have an analog input on your DVI goggles for 42 43 quid obviously you can spend a lot more money and put a much higher priced receiver on the back of here if we want to do that TBS or something like that but obviously the cost is going to increase. You see the, I'm trying to do this in the cheap way. You can actually do it cheaper because you can buy, I think it's the Eosheen RX something, which comes in at £18. So it's one of these that comes in £18, but it doesn't come with a cover, but you can print loads of them on Thingiverse. So let me go, anyway, enough gabbing. Let me go away and fit it and I'll show you what it's like. So here we go. So I fitted it. So let me just show you. See if I can get it close. We're actually going out of focus. So as you can see, it bolts into the two screws here. The reason I fitted it, I'm not sure if it was because I thought I'd mess up and then it won't look right on the video, so I'd rather do it this way. So as you can see, it's mounted a little bit of double-sided tape at the back of here. The two screws hold it here, and then we've got the uh, receiver plugged into it there, and then obviously I've just put the cover on. I've got this little elastic band here because the cover won't stay on. Now you can fit these. So these are available on Thingiverse. So as you can see, the URV, URV bit goes in here, you put a little rubber pad on there and it sticks in. And then you get some little screws and you put this on top. Or you don't need to because it'll actually hold on with the unit itself. You plug it in, 
you put a little sticky pad on there and it goes in but it makes it so bulky it brings it out another maybe 10 11 mil so i did fit it at first but then i thought mm, not that keen on that and this is just as stable and to be fair it still didn't fit that well with this this cap still didn't fit that well in here so i scrapped that idea so as you can see this is the unit wired up so i've gone power i've gone from the unit itself into the goggles I've then done the same with the AV in. I've then plugged the power lead from the battery into the top and then all you do with the DJI goggles is go into your settings and go into AV in. That's all you need to do. And then the rest of it is down to the receiver. So I've got this on a button. So this is why I love these batteries. So we've got some power because there's no power switch on the DJI goggles if you weren't aware of that. So let me see if you can see that screen very well. So there's the screen for the... Um, True, uh, true D light. I don't, I think it seems okay. I've been outside and I'll show you some. I'll show. Well, I'll discuss that a little later. So, top button auto search. Bottom button is goes through your bands and then the middle buttons to do your settings and stuff and to go through your favourites when you set it on here. So, I hooked this up to the uh, uh, ice light go and all I've done is gone outside and I've held it in my hand and walked around with it a little bit and that's not to test range or anything obviously that's just to show you what the DVR is going to look like so I've put, I'll have that little video coming up at the end but literally the minute and all I'm doing is hold it in my hand and you'll see why I'm not flying because the weather is horrendous you have to bear in mind that I haven't messed with the settings I think it's a bit over bright but I haven't played with anything I literally just put them on my head to see how quick I could get it up and running. So from up and running to fitting this was probably about 10 minutes and then, but now it's on its own. I probably won't take it off, I'll probably just leave it on, but you can just obviously take it off if you want to do. You could even leave this unit on the back and just unplug your receiver from the top, but... Um, I don't know. Probably TX is transmitting into it. But I don't know, so yeah, so you leave your receiver on or you can take it off. I probably will leave it on because it doesn't take that much bulk. I don't think it's... It doesn't feel any heavier on your head. This battery pack's heavy anyway. Uh, if you are using one of these, by the way, make sure you keep it fully charged because these don't have enough capacity to last for very long. I probably only get about 40, 50 minutes, but I could just change the batteries if I wanted to, but it's enough for me. Now, so if I compare them to these... I think there's a huge difference. I think these are much, much better. I think everything's better. I think the DVR's better than these as well. But, obviously, these were 340 quid. Um, you're not going to... And it, these are people that are going to buy these from scratch. Or people that get into it that have come into the hobby and just bought these. This is a good alternative so you can still fly on a log. Rather than going out spending four or five hundred quid on these and then another 350 on these, you've soon knocked up 800, 900 quid by the time you've bought antennas and stuff so I wouldn't that's what my opinion is of it do I think this is a is it as good as a lot of the goggles out there it's still better than a lot of goggles that are on the market it's not bad at all it looks great the pic picture looks great like I said the true test will be obviously on the range and stuff but that's down to this not the goggles and this will be a good time to test this so we'll do a review on this separately when I can fly to see what it's like but so far so good I just thought I'd show you this quick mod, so really this comes out to, I checked before when I've had a camera break, this came to £44.25 for everything, so what you're seeing is £44.25 and you, the antennas I already had, so you would need to buy some antennas if you haven't already got them, but then you can have the rest of both worlds, so you've got digital and analogue at the press of the button, I don't think you can go wrong at the price, and I think it's an absolutely great add-on to these goggles. Obviously it's not as smart looking as the one that goes on the front here, but then this looks a bit of a bugger to fit. I don't think I'd really like to have a go of it in them to be honest. It does look fantastic and maybe one day I will do this and I'll do a video on it. Because you can get some really nice finished off front plates now with the, with the unit built into it, with the place for your receiver to go. Really, really nice one, so maybe I'll have a go at that at one point. But for the minute, I think this is great. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day.